Hello guys, this is Dr. Patrick Price, the Body Detective, and welcome to the Body Detective Show. Today I have a special guest and a friend I've known for many years. This is Noah St. John. And so I'd like to say just a little bit about Noah and who you're seeing today, guys. Uh, he's working with many of the Hollywood celebrities for over the years, especially eight-figure corporate executive CEOs, professional athletes, um, uh, top mental health coach he's looked upon. But as far as Noah, his coaching is one thing he's known for is he is looking at helping you make a better living and lifestyle for yourself. He's helped some people within 12 weeks make more than they make in 12 months. And so for you, especially looking for getting your life together in many areas, especially your financial life, Noah St. John is that person for you. So today for the Body Detective Show, I'd like to introduce to you my friend, Noah St. John. Hello guys, this is Dr. Price and welcome to the Body Detective Show. And today I have a wonderful guest, uh, Noah St. John. He is known as the father of affirmations. And so with this short introduction, I'm going to go straight into asking him the very first question. Uh, Noah, first of all, thanks for being here. I know you're a busy guy. My uh, pleasure. Help everybody understand all our viewing guests today. Who is Noah St. John? Well, I am known as the father of affirmations, as you mentioned. I'm also known as the mental health coach to the stars. And one of the things that I'm known for is that I help my coaching clients make more in just 12 weeks than they made in the past 12 months, while also winning back one to three hours in their day and four to eight weeks per year. So I'm sure you know that most people are working really hard, right? They're working harder, working longer hours typically, and oftentimes they're working harder and longer, but not really making more money and often sacrificing their family, their friends, and their free time. So right. what, one of the things that I'm known for is I help people do the exact opposite of that, meaning not only make more money, but doing it a lot less time with a lot less effort, a lot less stress, less overwhelm, so that they can actually spend more time with their families, more time doing what they enjoy, and frankly, more time away from their business. Mm. So you have the magic wand. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> no. I have to say for a second, I found my little book the other day, my little affirmations book. There's my book I got from Noah, guys. Uh, we, we met uh, years ago, at Parker Seminars, as anybody knows about the chiropractic Parker, they're, they're probably the largest seminars for chiropractors, and uh, he was speaking there, and I was as well, and that's how we first met, became friends, and we just reconnected recently, so I'm so happy that I actually finally got him on the show here. Uh -huh. So yeah, that was almost 20 years ago now. Wow, it is. It is. And I got his book and had some audio tapes and I was doing his work. And so the idea is, is I'm going to ask you the next question is like people say, OK, I know what an affirmation is. And but what isn't the difference in the affirmation versus an affirmation, Noah? Exactly. Well, that that is awesome that you have. I mean, that book was published a long time ago. And actually, yeah. now we have the new affirmations book, which is called uh, Millionaire Affirmations, which is the, the subtitle is the magic formula that will make you rich. How's that for a subtitle, right? So the uh, affirmations on steroids. All right. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and so we're actually going to let people know how they can get this book and also $300 worth of bonus gifts at a special website. Um, so what is an affirmation, right? So everybody watching this program, I'm sure knows what an affirmation is, right? So, you know, I'm known as the father of affirmations and a coach and, an, and a mentor and a business expert, but I'm also a keynote speaker. And so as a keynote speaker, one of the things I'm privileged to do is speak to, you know, groups all around the world from private workshops of, you know, say 100 people up to big international workshops of thousands of people. And one of the things I love to do when I'm speaking, uh, you know, as a keynote speaker is I like to have my audiences all stand up, whether it's virtually or live in person. And I say, all right, everybody, we're going to do an affirmation, just like the gurus taught us, have been teaching us for years. And I want everybody to say, I am rich, right? And everybody goes, I am rich. You know mm -hmm. what happens next? Everyone starts laughing. <laughs> and mm -hmm. I go, what are you laughing at? And they go, well, I'm not rich. And I say, but you just said you were. And they go, mm -hmm. yeah, but I don't believe it. Mm -hmm. See, now, isn't that the problem with the old affirmations method, right? We say mm -hmm. these positive statements, we want to believe them. But a lot of times, most of the time, in fact, we really don't believe it, right? And so the guru said, mm -hmm. well, listen, if you don't believe your affirmations, just repeat it a thousand million, billion, gajillion times until you believe it someday, right? Now, for some people that worked just fine, but for a lot of us, it didn't work at all, right? And so mm -hmm. what happened was um, 25 years ago, this was actually April 1997. 
And um, I actually had this epiphany that changed my life and it happened in the shower. And so in my, you know, my books and my yeah. coaching programs, I call it the shower that changed everything. Right. <laughs> and so the shower that changed everything was right. I was thinking about this, you know, whole thing of affirmation, this whole thing, you know, and because I've been doing this for years, too, you know, just like most people, you know, I'm, you know, reading all the books. I'll say the same thing. Right. You know, I say the positive statements. You write it down. I'm happy. I'm rich. I'm successful. And the reality yeah. reality was, no, I'm not. I'm broke, unhappy and miserable. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, how come these statements aren't matching up with my reality? What are they, what are they not telling us? What do they leave out? And so I was thinking about this in the shower 25 years ago. And I said, well, what are we talking about? We're talking about beliefs, but what's the belief? A belief is just the thought. Well, what's thought? And I realized that human thought is the process of asking and searching for answers to questions, not statements, but questions. For example, if I were to ask you right now, Patrick, why is the sky blue? Why is the sky blue? Hmm. Now, do you know what just happened in your head? You started I, I, to I, I'm thinking some different thoughts, but go ahead. Yeah. Right, right. You started to search for the answer, right? And that right. happened for everybody. You know, everybody watching, listening to this program right now, I asked the question, why is the sky blue? Your brain just goes, I don't know. Why is this guy? Well, wait a minute. And so you actually started to search for the answer to the question. Even if you don't know the answer, your brain automatically starts to search for the answer. In fact, psychologists call this the embedded presupposition factor of the brain. That simply means when you ask a question, your brain automatically searches for the answer. And so uh -huh. I said, no, wait a minute. <clears throat> if that's true, if the brain is automatically searching for answers to questions, why are we going around making statements that we don't believe? Why don't we just cut out the middleman? And I said, I don't know. What would that look like? Well, let's see. You got the statement or affirmation. I am rich. And your brain goes, yeah, right, right. In, in, like, in my books and my training programs, I actually call it the yeah, right response because your brain literally goes, yeah, right, uh -huh. right. And so if that's the statement, then what would the question be? And then I said, why am I so rich? Why am I so rich? Now, when you ask that question, what instantly starts to happen in your brain? <clears throat> you start to search for the answer, mm -hmm. right? And so what we're talking about here, what I teach in my books, my coaching is the law of sowing and reaping. As you sow, so shall you reap. Now, of course, this is nothing new. It's been taught for centuries, but what are we sowing? We're sowing seeds of thought. And yet, what are most people doing? Sowing lousy thought seeds. Why am I so stupid? Why am I so fat? Why can't I lose mm -hmm. weight? Why isn't my business growing? Why can't I get more patients or customers mm -hmm. or clients? Exactly. Why is there more month left at the end of the money, right? Mm -hmm. And when you ask lousy questions, what do you get? Lousy answers, right? Mm -hmm. And that creates a lousy life. So I said, wait a minute. What if instead of asking lousy questions that lead to lousy answers and create a lousy life, what if we just flip the whole thing on its head, start asking empowering questions that lead to phenomenal answers and create a wonderful life? So as I was standing there in the shower, April 1997, 25 years ago, I literally said, holy cow, I think I just invented something. And so I had to give it a name. And the name that I gave it was Affirmations. And you can actually, you can literally go to Affirmations.com, A-F-F-O-R-M-A-T-I-O-N-S, Affirmations.com, and actually learn more about my Affirmations uh, method, my Affirmations Advantage, as we call it. Because it literally does give you an advantage, a, an edge over everyone else when you start to ask empowering versus disempowering questions right and that's kind of what you you said to me years ago it's the why you know and right, and I, right. actually when i do like an affirmation so still with my patients you know health ones i put in there i actually use the affirmation part from your book a long time ago guys i'm gonna use those of you watching this in the office know i use this on you already now you know my secret i got from this guy okay so I <laughs> when i did when i they said okay i am riding my bicycle in the park every week enjoying the sunshine i go why is that happiness? Why is that joy? Why, whatever, because I used the kinesiology to find out what word goes with it. But still, right, right. when you ask the why, they start searching. And to me, you no, know, I think what's really smart about what you've done, you're, you're actually teaching the subconscious mind to reprogram the beliefs. That's correct. I think that's exactly what's happening here. And so, that's guys, correct. he's teaching you on a business level to reprogram your thoughts for your daily life. And it's also for your health, for relationships. I yeah, mean, every, when, you, when you go to our website, you'll see that not only have I helped people make literally over $2.7 billion over the last 25 years, meaning I've helped people add six figures and seven figures and even eight figures to their business. So, of course, it works in money and wealth and finances, mm -hmm. but it also works in relationships. It works in personal relationships, professional relationships, intimate relationships, family relationships. It works in your health. Mm -hmm. Right. In terms of weight loss or just feeling better, feeling happier, more peace of mind, less stress, less overwhelm. Because think about this. 
you know, again, as a keynote speaker, one of the things that I like to do is ask my audiences this question. I say, what is one area of your life where your beliefs don't affect you? And people go like this. They go, um, hmm. Uh, and I go, exactly. There's no place your beliefs don't affect you, right? Mm -hmm. Your beliefs affect your health, your wealth, your, you know, your, your relationships. There's no place your beliefs don't affect you. But here's the key. You can't see a belief. You can only see the effects of a belief. Mm -hmm. All right. And so that's why with so many people are doing what I call they're driving down the road of life with one foot on the brake. That means they're unconsciously asking a lot of lousy questions. They're getting results that are subpar or results that they don't want. And so using my affirmations method, along with, you know, the other things that I teach, that's one of the reasons we've been able to help people get these really remarkable and in many cases, life-changing results. So really, uh, the word today, you hear this phrase, cognitive dissonance. I yes. know you know this word. And it says you get a belief that you've always had that things are white. And then suddenly this new belief comes that's black and your brain says, okay, I'm going to fry in a second. And I actually took MRIs showing people get two beliefs. Yeah. And it's really easy to ridicule and deny the new one. That's right. And then, and then when finally you accept it through this fear and anger mode you got to go through, you realize the new belief is your truth. Exactly. Yeah. Well, let's go to the next question. Um, sure. And now you said also something about your financial life. You said if you just get somebody for five minutes a day to make a change, it can change the, the financial success of their life. Can you explain that for us? Yes, absolutely. So this is one of the things that I teach you in my new book, Millionaire Affirmations, The Magic Formula That Will Make You Rich. Now, let me give you that website. It's mm -hmm. very easy to remember. Getmillionairebook.com. That's it. Getmillionairebook.com. And what you can do is get the book, Millionaire Affirmations, and $300 worth of bonus gifts when you get my Millionaire Affirmations book at getmillionairebook.com. Now, in this book, I actually give you this process, right, which is the five-minute method to change your financial future. And people say, can you really change your financial life in five minutes a day? Well, I prove it to you. All right. And so one of the things that uh, I teach you is what I call, there it is. Yep. There it is. It? There it is. There it is right there. You got it. All right. The so guys I've learned from my wife to be technically involved. Awesome. <laughs> Here you guys go. Yeah, that's exactly right. So you there can see, is. you know, I was very uh, humbled to hit number one in personal finance and also number one in uh, spirituality. So you can see it's not just about the money. It's about, you know, everything that goes along with it. So anyway, in the book, one of the things I teach you is what I call my core four formula. All right. And this is my core four formula to change your financial life in less than five minutes a day. And so literally, um, well, let me say it this way. We humans have four ways that we communicate, all right? I call these the four modes of human communication, and they are reading, writing, speaking, and listening. Now, so here's what I want you to do. And, and again, in the book, I show you exactly how to do this at getmillionairebook.com. So you, what you do is you spend one minute on each of the four modes of human communication, but using my affirmations method. Now, from almost everybody watching this, I would venture to say most people watching this, certainly a majority, this will be a very new way of thinking. But as you just stated, you know, if what you're doing right now isn't getting you the results that you want, you know, we're inviting you to try something new, but it's actually not that new because I've been teaching it for 25 years now. So, but it might be new to you. So the first minute, what you're going to do is you're going to read your affirmations. So you can read your affirmations in the Millionaire Affirmations book. And I give you literally over, you know, I give you hundreds of affirmations uh, in the book uh, on different um, areas of wealth and, and uh, well-being. So we have wealth, focus, self-confidence, goal setting, purpose, work-life balance, and millionaire habits. So these are the these are the areas of life that I give you literally hundreds of app formations in. So you can read them. And one of the things you can do is you can literally pick up the book and just like open to a random page. And then, you know, like, uh, why is money magnetized to me? And that could be your app formation for the day, for example, All right? That's what some people like to do. It's just a, that's, you can just read for one minute. Then you, you take the next minute. Reading and writing is the next one. And so when you want to write your app formations, um, what you want to do is, by the way, we also have the companion journal that goes with the book. So you want to get the Millionaire Affirmations Companion Journal. The reason for that is we give you over a year so you can write your new affirmations and you make this a daily habit and you just literally write it in and you're writing new empowering and your you're reason you're doing it that way is because you're implanting these new beliefs using the writing method. The mm, third minute, if you want to say them out loud, right? So we have reading, writing, speaking is the third one. You want to say them out loud. And again, you can just follow the book. You can follow the journal. It's right there. And you just say them out loud. So you can say them to your partner, say them to your spouse, say them to your kids, say them to your dog, your cat, your goldfish. It doesn't matter. I mean, the point is just saying it out loud. And some people go, do I have to say it out loud? And I go, listen, 
Do you want to change your life? Do you want more money? Do you want more wealth, more health, more happiness? If you do, do it. If you don't, then don't do it. I mean, it's pretty darn simple, right? And then, so that's saying it out loud because you want to train your brain to think in this new way. And then the fourth minute is you want to listen. All right. So we've got lots of uh, resources on our website at noahstjohn.com. We have even things called IAFORM audios where you can reprogram your subconscious thought pattern while you're patterns while you're not even paying any attention while you're busy doing other things. So that's right on our, our main website at noahstjohn.com. You can get a free 60 second stress buster, which you can literally bust your stress in 60 seconds or less by listening to these IAFORM audios. And that's it. There's your four minutes. I actually call it the core four. It takes you less than five minutes. I give you a few seconds in between. Now, of course, some people say, well, which other site, Noah? Uh, there it is right there, noahstjohn.com. Yeah. You got it. So when you go to the shop page, it's right there on the shop page. If you right. uh, click that and you'll see programs go right there. You got it. That's it. And then the IAFORM audios also is another way you can get there. These are our different programs. You have, you know, people, you know, get one-on-one -on -one mentoring with me, or we have the 12-week breakthrough. That's where we help you get more or make more in 12 weeks than you made in the last 12 months. Everything is right there on that page. You can, you know, I don't have to say everything, but you, you see it right there at the very bottom of the pages, these IAFORM audios that I was just talking about. There's the affirmations yeah. advantage and so on. So you can see everything there. So that's my core four formula, Patrick. What that means is Good. for everybody Good. watching, there they are right there, IAFORM right. audios. And mm -hmm. so you can literally change your financial future while you're making your morning coffee. All right. Mm -hmm. I mean, it literally takes five minutes a day. And I mean, by the way, I'll just mention this in the book. We also have very inspiring stories of people who actually use this exact method, my core four formula and change their financial life in less than five minutes a day. They actually went through an experiment, which we did a 14 day millionaire affirmations experiment. And many of their stories are right here in the book. In fact, you'll hear from one person, for example, who literally made a million dollars. She was able to get a million dollar deal just in the 14 days that we were working together using my millionaire affirmations method. I mean, that's, that's, that's you fun. know, pretty exciting, right? Not everybody, right. of course, has a million dollar experience, but I mean, it's right there in the book and you can read other people. So my point for everybody watching, what does this mean for you? It's not just you know, about me. It's not just about my results. It's about over a million people that are using my affirmations method to get incredible life-changing transformational results in their lives. And if it worked for them, it'll work for you too. And guys, I wouldn't have Noah on the show if I wouldn't believe in what he does. Uh, and like we said, we, we've met a long time ago and uh, I know Noah's work, it worked for me. And, and I'm, I'm having him on the show because I want to expose him to all of you because everyone has questions about this a lot of times. And you know, I work with getting in your head in, in my own work, but here's Noah, he's gonna get in your head a whole nother way. And he's got all kind of uh, information for you to use to always keep you involved. You know, the audio is basically using, as I say, the universal laws, the law of action. He's using writing it, saying it, hearing things. You're using all your senses basically. So, so Noah, where is it now? You say people get stuck; they get the head trash thing, as you call it. So, how does it? Uh, how does that affect people when they get stuck in their head? How do you get them out of that, basically? Right, right. So, what I say is the number one reason that people aren't reaching their goals as fast as they want is <sighs> not what people think. All right. So, everybody says, "Well, it's uh, it's procrastination. You got to stop procrastinating." Well, you got to believe in yourself. Well, you got to write affirmations, you know, do the old way. Uh, we already just busted that myth. <laughs> and, you know, you got you to gotta work harder and you got to work longer hours. And my, my argument here, and this is after 25 years of helping my clients make billions of dollars, is it's none of those things. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, you shouldn't uh, try to not procrastinate or any of those things are exactly wrong. But see, all those things that I just mentioned and more, they're just symptoms. They're just symptoms of a deeper problem. All right. So as you know, Patrick, and I'm sure most of the people watching this program know that when you only treat symptoms of a problem, you know, let's say if you have a health problem, right, you know, you have right. pain in one area of your body. And what do you do? You take pills. What does that do? It doesn't really do anything. It just maybe mask the pain for a little bit, but you didn't get to the cause. Mm -hmm. And so, of course, the symptoms keep coming back and oftentimes the symptoms gets worse. Well, it's exactly that way in our lives and our businesses and our relationships and our health. All right. And so what most people are doing, 99% of people out there are just treating symptoms. But one of the reasons my clients get so much success and have so many results is that we get to the cause. So what is the cause? What's the real problem behind all these symptoms? Well, what I've been teaching for 25 years now is the real problem is something that I call head trash. So the fact is, you don't have 10 problems. You only have one problem. <laughs> and that problem is head trash. And that's something that no one's ever talked to you about before. So this is me talking to you about it. All right. So the question then becomes, well, what is head trash, right? If that's the one problem that's causing all my other problems, what is it? Head trash, as I've been teaching it for many years, 
is the voice in your head that says, I can't do it because dot, dot, dot. Right. And then you just fill in the blank. So for everybody watching this, here's what I want you to do right now. Number one, I want you to do this quick exercise. Number one, write down what you want. What is it that you want? Right. I call that defining your pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Okay, now everyone wants more time, more energy, better relationships, and more money. That's what I call my freedom lifestyle formula. So we want to have more time to enjoy with our loved ones. We want to have more energy so we can actually enjoy that time with our loved ones. We want to have better relationships, right? So happy relationships, both in personal and professional life. And of course, we want to have more money, you know, because some people say, well, money, money doesn't buy happiness. And I'm like, well, you know, I've been rich and I've been poor. I grew up poor in a rich neighborhood. And I'm, I'm here to tell you, there's nothing good about being poor. Being poor sucks. It really sucks. And uh, so, no, there's, there's nothing good about poverty. Um, you know, growing up in it, I, I knew. And so the point is that, um, you know, we all want these four things. So then why don't we have them, right? Why, why are so many people working so hard and still not reaching their goals? It's because of this problem called head trash, all right? So you say, well, Noah, you know, I want to, as an example, you know, I, I want to make more in 12 weeks than I made in the last 12 months, like your clients do, but I can't do it because dot, 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 see? And that's exactly what happens. You have this goal or this dream or this desire, but then the very next thought that you have is I can't do it because. And here's what I want everybody to realize. Whatever you say after the word because is what you believe is true. And guess what? If you believe something is true, you'll defend it to the death. And what's so hilarious about all this and the amazing irony is that people are defending their miserable, unhappy, unfulfilled lives. Well, no, I can't do it because I don't have the time. I can, I can go into your life. If you give me literally five minutes, I could show you 10 different ways that you're wasting a ton of time every single day, week, month, year. All right. So what is that costing you? Well, what about energy? Energy are, are the things that you're, you know, you could be doing, but you're not doing because you tell yourself you don't have the energy. What about the relationships? You say, oh, I don't have the right relationships. I don't have the right people. But I can show you that you can leverage what you have to get the things that you want. And then, you know, people say, oh, I don't have the money. I can't afford it. And meanwhile, I could show you all the ways that you're wasting all this money on things that aren't re helping you to reach your goals faster and easier. All right. So, 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 all these so, no, so no, basically you're saying is when you got an idea, don't think of all the stuff in the middle. Focus on the end result. Well, yes. You're saying in a way, right? And what I'm also saying is in order to reach your goals, we do have to do certain things. What I've been teaching my clients for a long time is that we really only need three things to reach our goals. And that is the right plan, the right tools, and the right support. Okay. What I mean by that is when you're, whatever you want to do in life, I mean, whether you want to, you know, build your business, start a business, grow a business, you know, write a book, create a course, be healthier, find love, have a happier marriage, whatever it is, not just money, but all, everything, right? It's kind of like, it's kind of like building a house, right? So if you think about building a house, right, there are three parts to it. The first is the plan, which in, you know, when you're building a house, it's called a blueprint, right? We have a blueprint and it's like, okay, here's, here guys, here's what we're going to do. We're going to build this house and this is going to look like, great. All right. So we got the plan, right? That's what we're going to do. Then we have the tools, right? You have the tools to build a house, right? Hammer, saw, nail, screwdriver, whatever, right? And then you need the third element, which is the number one thing, believe it or not, that's missing from most people's lives is getting the right support. Meaning having the person or people in your corner who believe in you and ironically, oftentimes believe in you before you believe in yourself. Let me tell you a quick story to illustrate this point. Now, when I was growing up, I grew up poor in a rich neighborhood. I grew up in a little town called Kennebunkport, Maine. And what I mean by that is my family was dirt poor. And I mean that literally because we grew up in a, in a drafty, unfinished home at the bottom of a dirt road that, believe it or not, my father built all by himself. And so he, he is, and, you know, was, and still is a brilliant guy. He literally created the blueprint all by himself. He had the right plan. He had, and it was a really nice house, you know, back then in the, in the seventies when I grew up. And so he, he created the blueprint. He had a good plan. He had the right tools, right? He had a hammer, saw, nails, and because he never had that third element, he never got the right support. What ended up happening is he, he never finished the house, number one. Number two, it was always, and then he actually built onto it more and it was still not finished. And so he was trying to do more and more and more and still getting worse results. And then at the age of 15, my, you know, when I was 15 years old, the bank actually foreclosed on us and, you know, we were forced to move out of that house. And so- wow. What does this mean for all of you watching? What does this mean for you? It means that you have to have those three things. You have to have the right plan, what to do. You have to have the right tools, how to do it. 
but you must have that third element. Who is in your corner believing in you? Because my father really never got the support from you know his family or the bank or the people that he really needed support from. He unfortunately lost you know our house. And, you know, it took him a long, long time to recover from that. And anybody who's gone for a foreclosure knows that, you know, it's very traumatic. My point being is make sure you have those three things. But I will say there is one other thing. And the one thing, even though, like, for example, with my clients, I give, I give people the right plan of how to do what they want to do. Reach, you know, make more than 12 weeks to may last almost. I give them the right tools because, you know, I've, I've studied this for a long, long time, help people make a lot of money. And I, of course, I give them the right support, meaning I, most of the time, I would say pretty much every time I believe in people before they even believe they can do it. In other words, I know you can do it versus you're saying to me, well, I don't know if I can do it. But the only other thing you need to do is take the right actions. That's the fourth missing element. Everybody has to take action. You have to take action. I have to take action. We all have to take action. And here's the thing. Imagine if you came to me and I was a personal trainer and, you know, you say, hey, Noah, I want you to help me lose some weight. And I give you the best you know, plan. I give you the right tools and I give you the right support. But see, I can't do your sit-ups for you. <laughs> not, mm -hmm. I mean, wouldn't it be great if you could pay someone to get six-pack abs for yourself? Wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> you know, like, right. hey, can you know I do my sit-ups so I get six-pack abs? Unfortunately, we haven't figured that one out yet. And so that's the only thing. And that's what's holding so many people back is they, <laughs> they say, I can't do it. So the irony of that is the head trash is the very thing that's stopping you. So I just want to reiterate that for everybody watching this program, you don't have 10 problems. You only have one. And then make sure you do whatever it takes to take out that head trash. Actually, Noah. Actually, Noah. So this, so this is what adds up to what you can make in twelve weeks of the twelve months following these steps. Well, yes, and and one of the reasons we're able to do that also is not only am I giving them the right plan, the right tools, and the right support. I'm also, of course, helping them take those right actions one step at a time. I'll give you a quick example uh, from one of my clients, and um, actually, this is a great example of how head trash can hold people back. So I was talking with one of my clients, and I said. I just asked him a simple question. Um, I said, Charles, how much do you think your head trash is going to cost you this year? In other words, if you don't take out this head trash, how much do you think you're going to lose? Just because you're, you've are you got this head trash, right? And he, without batting an eye, he instantly said a million dollars. In other words, it's going to cost me a million dollars if I don't take out this head trash. I said, okay, uh -huh. i tell you what. You pay me just 10% of that million dollars, and I will get you that million dollars back. And so he actually invested $100,000 to get one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. And you can see that on our website. You know, I only work with a very small, I mean, literally less than five clients at a time, one-on-one. -on -one. We do also have group programs, of course. But anyway, so he said he took one of those spots, paid me 100K. He's already doubled that money. We've been working together for 12 weeks. He's already made his investment back times two. Mm, and what does this mean time. for you, for everybody watching? The point is, one of the ways that we're able to do that is we focus on two things, inner game and outer game. Now, inner game is everything that happens between your ears that you can't see directly, but it affects everything that you do. As I stated earlier, right, you know, like with my audiences, you know, when I'm doing a keynote speech or a presentation, I say, where's what's one area of your life where your beliefs don't affect you? And the answer is no place, right? There's no place your beliefs don't affect you. And so that's where we have to focus on that inner game. But here's the thing, you can't see a belief. You only see the effects of it, right? So that's why I said a moment ago, you don't have 10 problems, you only have one. This belief that I can't do it because that's your head trash, all right? So that's your inner game. But if you don't take out the trash, you're not gonna reach your goals. And we also have to focus on the outer game, which is you know the, 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 all of the outer stuff, the systems, the strategies, you know, let's say if you have your own business, you have to have offers and funnels and traffic, all of that marketing stuff, you know, that probably people spend a lot of time and money on. And, you know, maybe it's paid off and maybe it hasn't. But the point is that uh, to use my client's example, you know, he, he invested 100K to work with me and he told me he's never done that before. I mean, that's like the most he's ever <laughs> invested with any coach or any mentor. He's already doubled his money. And here's the thing, Patrick, we haven't even talked about outer game, not one single time. We've all spent this entire 12 weeks talking about inner game. So what should that tell the, you know, the person watching? It should tell you how much it's going to cost you if you don't take out your head trash. So I would encourage everybody watching this and listening to this program to ask themselves that two simple questions. Number one, how much is it going to cost me this year if I don't take out my head trash? You know, and I've never worked with anybody who didn't, wasn't causing them at least 10,000, 25,000, even 50 or hundred thousand dollars a month, every month, because you don't believe you can do it. And then number two is, do I want to get rid of that trash sooner or later? I hope the answer is sooner for most of you. 
<laughs> and then of course take the action to take it out you know you can work with you know me you can get one of my books or whatever you want to do go to my youtube channel however you want to do that how but you fast got, you, you got several books how many books you have now noah I published 17. So this uh, my is wow. coming out next year. So the Millionaire Out Formations book is number 16. And then the Companion Journal number 17. So these Excellent. two go together, you know, like a peanut butter and jelly. Uh, and then okay. the 18th is coming out next year. <laughs> all right. Well, guys, at the end of the show, I'm going to post, uh, you'll have his information. Those you want to get in touch with, I'll, ha I'll have all that at the end of this, this show today. But I want to ask, uh, in closing today with Noah St. John, thinking having him on the show again. Noah, thank you so much for being here today. Is, I'd like to ask this question is where do you see the future of our species, mankind? You, you see what's going on in the world. Where do you, uh, every person, whether a martial artist, a guy like you, the coaches, I like to hear everybody's opinion. Where do they see us going as a species today? My last question to you. I think about that every day, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, it's something that, of course, concerns me as it does any thinking person, right? Mm -hmm. um, you see what's going on and it's, you know, it's so funny because I'm, I'm 55 years old now um, and, you know, I've seen every decade, we all, every decade has its own problems, right? And, you know, like mm -hmm. in the 70s, I remember gas lines, you know, and the oil crisis in the 80s, it was, we're going to blow each other up. And mm -hmm. the 90s was not much, actually, the 90s was pretty good. <laughs> actually, mm -hmm. I, 90s was kind of like the last good decade. That was actually pretty mm -hmm. fun back then. Uh, then the 2000s, it's been, you know, we had all this other stuff going on. Um, you know, really pretty much since the 2000s to me, it's been, you know, of course, terrorism and, and global warming are the two biggest things. Um, and so far, we haven't been able to solve either of those, really. Mm -hmm. And um, so the point is that what I see with humanity is I see two distinct groups of people, one that is uh, driven by greed. And greed, of course, causes, I, in my argument, is greed causes every human problem and frankly, every planetary problem. Because if you look at human greed, um, Einstein had a great quote. He said, there are only two things in the world, or excuse me, he said, there are only two things that are infinite, um, the universe and human stupidity. And I don't know about the universe. <laughs> 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 I may be mangling that quote, but I'm pretty sure he said something like that. Yeah. And so unfortunately, the other thing that is infinite is human greed. Um, and that is, of course, what is the number one contributor to global warming, which is I argue, and I think it's pretty much inarguable, the biggest problem that we face, not only as a species, but as life on this planet, mm -hmm. which as far as we know, this is all we got. I mean, yeah. this is it. I don't think we're moving to Mars anytime soon or anyplace else. So, so maybe the whole planet should start saying, why is our planet so much yes. at peace right now? We start that's using why the why for a whole planetary cause, right? Yes. That's why I'm so passionate because I know that our formations have changed people's lives. I know it because people write to me every single day. So yes, I'm on a mission to help the entire world of form, learn about our formations and start asking better questions so we can, you know, overcome these problems that we're facing, not as a species only, but really as life. And so I also see what gives me hope is seeing all these incredible human beings who are doing things like saving the whales, who are cleaning up the plastic on, you know, the beaches mm -hmm. and in our yeah. oceans. And, you know, like David Attenborough, he's such a hero of mine. What an amazing right. guy, you know yeah, what I mean? Is. With a name like Noah, I got to care about all the animals, right? The <laughs> dolphins, the whales, and everybody else. You know, right. I, I do. And I have hummingbirds in my backyard. You know, I love feeding my birds and all that stuff. Yeah. And so I do see lots and lots and lots. I think, frankly, more than ever, I see just this huge groundswell of people who care, who care about the planet, who care about yeah. all life, not just human life. Because, yeah, we're humans, but that doesn't mean anything. We just happen to develop this cerebral cortex, which allows us to think and communicate. And, yeah, we, as Carl Sagan said many years ago in Cosmos, we speak for Earth. We humans do. And sometimes that's not such a great thing, you know. Right. But, uh, you know, I, I do feel hopeful and because of what I just said. And so, you know, of course, I try to do whatever I can each day to contribute to, you know, the raising of human consciousness. And that is my mission is to raise human consciousness one question at a time um, so that we can live on this planet. Um, and again, not just us humans, but but all life, because all life is sacred. Yeah. Well, I think you did an excellent job, Noah. So keep keep producing those books. More of us uh, need helpful coaches like yourself. I mean, some of us don't have a plan, don't have, don't have the help we have. I mean, that's what made my last success in life is uh, getting married my wife and i are working as a team yes. our team approach is way which what has made our success and i think a lot of people are missing those things so so mm -hmm. guys i appreciate noah for being on the, the show today noah maybe in the future we'll talk about some more subjects i'm sure you have a lot to say so uh 
<laughs> I look forward to having you. And uh, everybody, once again, thank all of you for watching today. This is Noah St. John. And I'm Dr. Patrick Price with the Body Detective Program.